Hello there guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A and I know it's been such a long time since I've done one I think it was maybe October or November last time I did one um, but I just wanted to give it a break because I ended up pretty much the only videos I was doing was Q&As and I was getting all the same questions, doing them every month so I think I'm going to do them bi-monthly now instead of every single month um, so yeah, I just wanted to give them a bit of a break but yeah, thank you guys for asking me all the questions guys asked me them all on Instagram. So if you want to keep track of my life, follow me on Instagram because that's what I post on the most. I don't really post on anything else too much, like Twitter and Instagram are the ones I use the most, but mainly Instagram. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing with my life, that's why I update on the most. So follow me on there if you want to. And before I start, um, if you're wondering where these super awesome, awesome necklaces I'm wearing are from, they're from my shop. So if you want to get yourself some, you may check that out. And I know that it's like super cheeky kind of advertising where I shop on here, but you know, a lot of you guys might not know I have a shop unless you follow me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. But yeah, I'm gonna go on the questions now. What inspires your artwork and how did you get into it? Art and music have always been the two biggest parts of my life. Like I've been drawing literally since I can remember. Um, so nothing really got me into it, it was just always something I've always done and always enjoyed. Like when I was a kid I was just always, always drawing, always doodling all the time. And like even in high school, like in my lessons, you can, like if you ask any of my teachers, they would say all I would do in lessons is just sit there and draw. Um, so I don't know, it's just something I've always, always enjoyed. And nothing really inspires my work, I just think of something and I draw it like I never really take influence from it, anything, like, per se. Um, I just kind of think of something and I draw it. Eddie's over here, by the way, if you can see him. He just sulked off because he's all tired because we just had a massive run around in the park earlier. What advice would you give your 15-year-old self? Oh god, so much. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, is just don't get involved with the wrong kind of people, that would be the best kind of advice because everything else bad kind of stemmed from that, so um, I would kind of say that. What's your current earlobe size? Um, they are 24mm now, they have been for quite a while now. Um, I don't think they're going to shrink down any more than this, but I'm really happy with the size, I think it's a nice size. Um, if you haven't watched my videos before, they were at 36 and I downsized them. Um, so yeah, they're 24 now. Are you still going to have lobe reconstruction or are you going to keep at your current size? Yes, um, I did say a while back that I was going to get my earlobe sewn up, um, but it was just like at the time it was just a passing thought and, and I happened to mention it to a few people that didn't like stretched earlobes and blah 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 and kind of let them convince me it was a really good idea. Now looking back at it, like I don't think I really 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 wanted to. Um, I just wanted to downsize, but because I had so much outside influence saying it'd be a great idea and because I wasn't in the best state of mind at the time anyway, um, I was being quite impressionable to things like that, so I was like, oh yeah, that's such a good idea because everyone was telling me it was a good idea, but no, um, I'm going to keep them a bit just smaller. What's your favourite thing about nature? I, I don't have a specific favourite thing, I just love it because that's... That's just the world, it's beautiful and it's pure and it just makes me happy. There's like nothing that can really compare to the beauty of nature and the world. Are you happy with life right now? Um, bit of a broad question, but um, I'm not unhappy, but uh, it could be better, I suppose. Um, I just it's not bad, I just need to start doing more things and start working towards stuff because I've just been drifting for a very long time since I left college almost a year ago and not really been doing much. Um, so I've got completely sick of just drifting and I need to start making a plan about life and actually start doing things. How was it to see a monomath again? It was awesome, it was really, really, really good. They're one of my favourite bands um, and it was good to see them play a lot of stuff and in a smaller venue so yeah it was really good. All time favourite go to quote. Everyone, you guys should so know this, I've said this so many times. 
It's Sam's big speech from Two Towers. Like, I'm not going to quote the whole thing, but it's just... I, it can't not make me happy. It's just so amazing. I love it so much. And I have, like, a section of it, like, printed out, and, and I stuck it on my mirror, so, like, every time, like, I get up or I'm doing something, I can just glance over and see it. Why aren't you vegan anymore? Um, I have had quite a lot of questions about this, and I have explained it several times on like Tumblr and Instagram. But basically, it's the same reason as I previously said I couldn't go vegan. Because I have so many health problems. Um, and I'm not gonna go into all of them, but basically, like, I can't eat a lot as it is, like, there's a lot of things I can't eat because I get these really, really bad stomach pains. Not so bad now, but back then they were horrific, them for about two years, and doctors can't find out why. Because of that, there's a lot of things I can't eat anyway, so I have to restrict my diet a lot as it is, um, because certain things make it worse. Um, for example, like, I can't really eat any fruit at all, basically, because it makes it hurt so bad. So, I wasn't really eating right, like, I couldn't really eat right, I was barely eating anything, like, my stomach pains got so bad, I lost a lot of weight, like, from till January, when I stopped being vegan, I lost, like, over a stone, which in turn made my stomach pains a lot, lot, lot worse as well. And I was just constantly ill and constantly in such bad pain when I was vegan, like, I don't know what it was about it, but it just, it just couldn't work for me, like, I just couldn't do it because I just felt like absolute shit, like, I was getting my stomach pains, like, so bad, like, I couldn't even move for hours, like, three times a day, so, um, I just couldn't do it, and I got so ill, and I lost so much weight, and just, my health just completely deteriorated, which is what I thought would happen when I said before that I can go vegan because of all these health problems, because my stomach pains is only just one of them. Um, I'm not a very well person, but um, yeah, it just it just didn't work. I was in so much pain, I couldn't do it. Do you have any plans for the summer? Um, not really. I know I'm going to Italy in August with my family. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any plans. I'll just kind of see what happens. How old is Ed now? Ed is about 10 months old now um, because his birthday is in May um, and then he'll be a year old. So I think he's about 10 months old now. How tall are you? Um, I'm five foot three and a half. How old are you? I'm 19, I'll be 20 in July. How do you teach yourself guitar? Can you recommend any books or videos for beginners? Um, basically like how I taught myself because I never did lessons. I just got tabs up for songs I like and I just tried to play them and I just kept on doing that and then um, if there was something in the tab I didn't know what it meant I would just google it and be like how do I play this and then learn that way and just gradually get better and better. I do have some books and stuff as well. Um, but I don't know where they are and I don't know what they're called, but I did at one point do these online lessons. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's called JustinGuitar.com or something like that. He's really, really good and that actually helped me out quite a lot. I'll, I'll put the link to that in the description if anyone wants to check it out, but that was really helpful actually. But what's your favourite tattoo and do you like your original hair colour? Um, my favourite tattoo is this one on the back of my arm. That one's my favourite one. Um, and my natural hair colour is pretty much the same as it is now, like, there is one bit at the back of my hair that's all my natural colour, I'll try and find it. Like, yeah, this section of hair here is all my natural hair colour, so it's not that much different to- So I like my natural hair colour, I've actually been trying to get it back to my natural hair colour for a long time, but the main body of it just keeps going yellow because obviously I had to dye it because I went from dark brown to blonde. Um, but it's not actually too much different anyway, so. Do you think you're a different person than you were, let's say, two years ago? Yes, very, 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 very different. I was, I think, about two years ago, which was when my anxiety was at its absolute worst point. Um, so I was having, like, panic attacks, like, five times a day. It was absolutely ridiculous. I hated myself so much. Um, and I was in a way 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 worse place then so yeah I would say I'm very different back then to how I am now. Can you do a tattoo video? Yes I've said lots of times I will do one eventually but the thing is like I have lots I have planned that I've been wanting for a long time I just haven't 
had the money for it so once I save up and get the ones that I have planned and I don't really have any more planned for the very near future then I'll do one because I don't really see the point in doing a video say now and I'll get a new tattoo in like a month um, because then it'd be a bit pointless because I've just got a new one and then I'll have to do another one when I get all the ones I want to get so once I've kind of got all the ones I currently want and I don't want any more for a little while then I'll do one. Would you rather never listen to any of your favourite metal bands again or never be able to read any of Tolkien's writing again? Um, although obviously I absolutely love Tolkien um, I couldn't deal without music like music is the biggest part of my life and has been since I can remember like I constantly I'm constantly listening to music and it just makes me feel like nothing else can like there is nothing that compares to music and although I love Tolkien and he inspires me a lot and his words inspire me a lot I can remember those things that inspire me and I just can deal without music I really can Anyway, so that is all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, I'll probably be doing these bi-monthly now. So there won't be one next month, but there'll probably be one the month after. So as I said, um, I'll put links to everything I talked about in the description below. If you want to keep up to date with my life, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Links to that will be in the description as well, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to go. Bye.